Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Today I'm doing no beanie today. Every single day, we read, watch, or hear about some heinous crime, making one wonder why the world could be such an evil place. Countless people around the world were left stunned by the fact that a pair of 10-year-old boys kidnapped and brutally killed a 3-year-old boy named Bulger back in 1993, which would make one wonder what could have possessed a couple of seemingly ordinary kids to engage in- Hold on! This dude, oh, this little kid ripped! Savage acts. Try not to lose your cool as we look at some of the most heinous crimes ever perpetrated by juveniles. Here are the 20 most dangerous kids in the world. Welcome oh to another episode of Forever Green. And if you want to learn about the most savage crime carried out by a child, that will leave you in shock. The following is the list of the most dangerous kids in the world right now. Going to jail. 20. Beaver Brothers. Dang, they look busted up! You've likely heard of the Menendez brothers, who were shamed for their crimes against their parents back in the 1990s. However, you might not have heard of the Beaver brothers. These two young men came from an antisocial family that resided in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. 18-year-old Robert Beaver and his younger brother Michael was 16. The boys had two younger brothers who were 12 and 7, and three sisters who were 13, 5, and 2. They evidently wanted to do something so terrible that it would outdo the tragic Columbine incident. So. They hatched a plan. On July 22nd, 2015, these two twisted individuals- I'm not gonna lie, their eyes look, don't look evil. You know how like some scary kids and, and evil people look evil in the eyes? They don't look evil in the eyes, that, that's deceptive. Battered both of their parents, their two younger brothers, and their five-year-old sister. The 13-year-old sister was only fortunate to survive the sick act. At least Robert and Michael didn't harm their two-year-old sister, the good thing is that these monsters have been locked up for good. 19. Young Lady A In 2004, a little girl from Japan, whose name and identity were undisclosed because of how young she was, tricked a fellow pupil into another classroom and started opening her throat and arms with a container cutter. After completing an act that can be likened to that of Jack the Ripper, the girl innocently returned to class with her garments covered entirely in blood. The murder was later dubbed the Sasebo Slashing, which started banter over the period of criminal obligation in Japan, which oh had been brought goodness. down in 2000. She need to chill out. Oh, this kid. 18. This kid right here. Smith. This kid right here. Look at his face, man. This dude don't give a doggone. This kid will stab you. Now, this is a kid where you look at it and be like, okay, yeah, of course. Just, just like get him out of here. Lock, lock this kid up because this kid... His face will tell you everything. Smith. Eric Smith was a middle school student in 1993 who was tired of being tormented at school and decided to take it out on a four-year-old kid who wow. was going to that day camp. Eric murdered the little boy by dropping a rock on his head. Dang. Eric was found guilty of second-degree murder in 1994 and will spend the rest of his life in jail. He has been wow. refused parole eight times with his family, nonetheless contradicting his discharge. 17. Keith Randulich In a case of a chilling high school execution, Keith Randulich inquired from his mother as to whether he could buy a weapon to stop a relative that was abusing his kid sister. His mother dissuaded him from such thoughts and told him never to do such a thing. On a day, his mother was out and alone with his sister. Randulich grabbed a knife and executed his sister by cutting her throat. What? After his arrest, he vehemently claimed he had done it to protect her from further abuses. What the? Hey! Yo, what do you mean you're going to slit her throat so she won't get a, you abusing her? You killed her. That don't even make, I don't, I know what he tried to do, but at the same time, like how, nah, that don't, kill the guy that's doing it or the lady, whoever. Anyway, let's move forward. That don't make no sense. However, after no proof of abuse or manhandling was found, he was sentenced to 40 years in jail in 2011. He just wanted to kill his sister. 16. Jasmine Richardson Jasmine was only 12 years old when she sought after ways of killing her family with her 23-year-old boyfriend. Eventually, what? they came up with the perfect plan. Oh, nah, look at him. That's a boyfriend? Of course they... Oh, look at him, dog. No way indeed, Garcia. Like, <laughs> yo, this guy looked like he would do something like this. Wow. 
she and her maniac boyfriend went he looked like a, a maniac in medicine hat canada in 2006 and killed her family and her eight-year-old sibling the lover boy jeremy steinke had told his friends he thought he was a 300 year old werewolf who devoured blood both were indicted on three counts of first degree murder however jasmine was condemned to the most extreme of 10 years 15. John Venables and Robert Thompson These two 10-year-olds tricked a little boy far from his family in 1993, executed him, and abandoned his disfigured body on an arrangement of prepared tracks. Wow. A surveillance camera spotted the boys as they calmly walked away from the crime scene. The young men were arrested and jailed until they turned 18. In 2010, however, John Venables was sent back to jail for damaging a piece of his permit. I don't know how that got drastically changed. You saw his face? Like, what the heck? That, that was not the same guy. That was not him, bro. That was somebody else, bro. They just put two random pictures together. Because, I don't know, he been through a lot of stress. That's what it is. 14. Daniel Bartlam On April 25th, initiated what he had thought was the perfect plan for him to get away with murder. The 14-year-old attacked his mother by striking her with a claw hammer. He then progressed to drench the oh house with gas, placed many papers on a naked fire, and left the house before it went up in flames. Wow. When asked about the incident, he explained to the police that an intruder had perpetrated the axe. Unfortunately for Daniel, the truth was uncovered, and he had no choice but to admit to his evil act. The scariest thing about the whole event is the lack of a sensible motive. The general belief was that Daniel simply wanted to see if he can get away with murder. He now has at least 16 years to work on a strategy. 13. Jake Evans Who says that being under 18 isn't a blessing? The saying holds true for Jake Evans. You see, Jake Evans had a plan to kill his sister and mother he lived with. Hey, he was man, listen, bro. Hey, I'm going to point this out one time. <laughs> Notice the trend here, okay? Notice the trend of killing sisters and mothers, bro. What the... And... All right going to visit his grandparents house and <laughs> kill them gonna... along with his eldest sister this is crazy so on october 12 2012 he set his evil plan into motion when he shot his sister and mother luckily for his grandparents and eldest sister jake called 911 to confess his wrongdoings instead of venturing to his grandparents house he claimed to have hatched the plan after watching the rob zombie remake movie halloween in which a boy kills his family he was handed a death sentence because he was a minor he still got a hefty sentence of 45 years dang 12. James Fairweather If, by chance, you ever find yourself face to face with a boy named James Fairweather, then heed our warning. Run. Run far, run hard, and run fast. If you don't, then there is every chance that you will end up on the business end of a long and sharp weapon. If you have doubts that this 15-year-old killer is one of the most- Hey, listen, don't mess with geeks, man. You, hey, <laughs> don't mess with no geeks out here, bro. They will get you too, bro. There you go. Hey, everybody can get it and everybody can dish it. This is serious business, man. Like, don't don't be messing. Look, it's him. He got somebody, bro. This is not a game. Menacing kids in the world right now. Then you should find out from one of his two victims. Of course, you can't because they're dead. One of the victims was a 33 year old man who was passed out drunk in a park in Essex, England. Joseph stabbed him for no reason at all. James no then stabbed reason? a 31 year old woman in the eyes and appeared to be actively hunting another victim when police caught him. Naturally, he claims to be possessed by demons. He hears voices. He was sentenced to life in prison. The boy must have been definitely possessed. 11. Nehemia Griga It is prevalent for people who commit terrible crimes to do so for a good reason. Take 15-year-old Nehemia Griga as an example. On January 19th, this young lad took a 22 caliber rifle, went into his parents' bedroom, and shot his mother as she slept. He also Lord shot his younger mercy. brother twice when he came to see what the commotion was all about. Dang. Afterwards, the young psychopath went to the next room where his sisters, who were two and five years old, were cowering in the corner and shot them as well. Oh he then proceeded to the gun cabinet and took out an AR-15 and waited for his father to return home from work. He gunned wow. down his father as soon as he came through the door. Gerald was sentenced as a juvenile, which means he will be free when he turns 21. He will be free? Wait, what? He will be free? Free who? This don't be making sense, man. The five-year-olds get life, 
But he done splattered all everybody in his family. He get twenty coming out at twenty two. Bro, this is making sense to you guys. The math isn't adding up, bro. He got five, four bodies. Five and four, five to four, bro. And he gonna get only up to 22. Wait, did I, did I hear that right? Let me go back. Maybe I'm tripping. Return home from work. He gunned down his father as soon as he came through the door. Gerald was sentenced as a juvenile, which means he will be free when he turns 21. Wow, he will be free when he turned 21. I heard that. Almost right. I said 22. He will be free when he turned 21? 10. Kim Edwards and Lucas Markham This is a story of two twisted lovebirds. 15-year-old Kim Edwards and Lucas Markham, her 15-year-old boyfriend, shocked the United Kingdom in 2016 when they were involved in a gruesome double murder. What was thought to have started as a joke escalated into the killing of Kim Edwards' 49-year-old mother and 13-year-old sister. As it seemed, Little Kim wasn't getting the attention that she thought she deserved from her mother. The duo attacked their victims with a kitchen knife while they slept they did and then the finished Michael them off by smothering them. them with pillows. Wow. After their wicked and cold killings, the pair apparently had an intimate moment, bathed together to clean the blood on their bodies, oh and then gosh. watched some Twilight movies. Lucas what? confessed that the only reason they killed Edwards' little sister was that he feared that she would call the cops. 9. Joseph McVeigh January 2nd, 2011, police went up to a house near Big Prairie, Ohio, after they got a call from a concerned neighbor. On getting there, the police discovered the dead body of a 46-year-old who was face down on the floor of her living room. The cause of her death was made known by the gunshot wound she had to her head. But who would do such a thing? It turns out to be the woman's 10-year-old son, Joseph McVeigh. Well, there had to be an excellent reason for this. According to Joseph and his 15-year-old sister, who witnessed the whole incident, Joseph's mother had asked him to bring in some firewood. He was tired of being told what to do and didn't fetch the firewood. Wow. He was tired of being told what to do and didn't fetch the firewood. Kids these days, man, are just wild out here. Who, like, if you can't obey your parents, you think you're going to obey the law? Instead, he went to his room, grabbed a 22 caliber rifle, and shot his mother in the head. Just because he... Just because of wood chips? Dang it, man. You could get popped for, for... Wow. This is unbelievable. 8. Will Cornick Poor Mrs. Ann McGuire had dedicated her entire life to teaching kids. At the age of 61, she was just a few months away from retirement. In this sorrowful tale, the other character is Will Cornick, who seemed to be a normal kid superficially, but things aren't always as they appear. Beneath the innocent, seemingly normal kid look, the 15-year-old Will was harboring a massive grudge against his teacher. In front of his entire Spanish class on April 28, 2014, Will attacked his teacher, Anne McGuire, from behind using a knife as she leaned over another student's desk. She sustained fatal wounds. It was also reported that the demented student brought a bottle of whiskey to school to celebrate his callous crime. Will also admitted that he had planned to kill two other teachers that day. Luckily for those teachers, he was unable to fulfill his heinous fantasy. What in the heck, bro? 7. Bobby Woods Jr. Hey, notice the type of people though. Notice the type of people. It can be I'm said for sure that not all the type of people have the ability to think logically and clearly. This is especially true of 17-year-old Bobby Woods Jr. of Lufkin, Texas. Bobby lived with his girlfriend and the three-year-old son of his girlfriend's brother, Mason Cutler. Bobby's girlfriend was pregnant, and this posed a bit of a problem in his mind. He felt that their house wasn't big enough to accommodate another child. His way of solving it? Bobby took young Mason to a pond behind their house, pushed the young child into the water, and walked away as the wailing child drowned. A genuinely heartless act and a terrible solution. Bobby admitted that he planned the whole thing. It also discovered that his girlfriend knew what happened, but she was deemed not fit to stand trial. 6. Jarrell oh, Milton Our first one here. 30-year-old Charles Fisher and 31-year-old Jamil Ray were drug dealers. On June 29, 2015, they made plans to sell some marijuana. An uncomplicated transaction was supposed to go down at a park in Omaha, Nebraska, but the deal turned out to be far from it. As they got to Miller Park, the duo was ambushed by three assailants. Ray was killed following the bullets he took to the head and neck, while Fisher was luckily shot in the shoulder and survived. But we hear about these things all the time. What makes this any different? Well, the real shocker is the fact that the three assailants were young boys. 12-year-old Jarrell Milton 
and his 17-year-old brother, along with a 15-year-old friend, had planned to rob the two dealers for an easy score. You could sleep easy knowing that he will be back on the streets soon, judging by the fact that Jarrell is a minor. 5. Dequan Stribling, Quandaris Burris, and Jace West when most stable and normal young teenagers get together, they usually perform activities that don't involve a senseless homicide. However, that wasn't the case in October of 2017, when three young boys in Baldwin, Mississippi were bored and wanted to do something fun. Instead of going to the bowling alley, perhaps playing video games, or just harmlessly hanging out, Call of Duty. they decided to kill a 70-year-old heartlessly. Whoa. Henry Adams Jr. was found outside of his house on October 23rd. Quindris Burris and Dequan Stribling were just 13 years old at the time, while Jace West was 14. The killer trio has been charged uh, with capital West, murder. They would have to stand trial as adults, but they won't face the death penalty because of their ages. While the motive for this senseless killing is suspected to be robbery, police have yet to confirm it publicly. 4. William Schultz William Schultz is extremely dangerous and deranged. There's honestly no other way to put it. It seems that 18-year-old William believed that the world was... I'm not gonna lie. He don't look... He, he don't look... You know? Like he... <laughs> he don't look like he's like crazy to me. But... Looks are deceiving out here, man. Like I told you, that... That geek from earlier that looked like a geek. He was... He was... He was slicing people up. So... You can't... Hey, you gotta be careful with everybody. Everybody can dish it out. Coming to an end and he wanted to tick off a few things on his bucket list. What's the top of his list? Well, William wanted to find out what it was like to kill another human being. What on April 26, 2015, Schultz approached a house, cut the power, and entered. He sneaked upstairs where 19-year-old Jordan Almgren was sleeping and stabbed the child to death. But why target Jordan? William reasoned that Jordan was weak and little. He'll have at least 25 years to rethink his life's goals as he sits in prison waiting for parole. 3. Jordan Brown Jordan Brown had a severe jealous streak, which will surely make you lose sleep. His crime was definitely horrific, but he was also recently released, which is just as scary. Jordan Brown is now 6 foot 2 and 18 years old, but he was locked up as a plump 11 year old with severe jealousy issues. Well, Jordan didn't like the idea of his father's fiance being 8 and a half months pregnant. He had the impression that a newborn would be given all of the attention. So, he came up with a plan. He used the 20-gauge shotgun that his dad had given him for Christmas in 2011 to take care of this problem by shooting 26-year-old Kenzie Hulk while she slept. The unborn baby was also killed as a result. We can only hope that he is rehabilitated. Man, Two. Please. Armadeep Sada. Armadeep? Oh, Armadeep! What is going on here? This is a case of a boy who scared India with his callous axe. Serial killers are nothing new. They have walked the earth for ages and will continue to. In one way or another, Armadeep Sada wasn't much different from your run-of-the-mill psychopath who gets his kicks from killing little kids. In 2007, he reportedly bashed his six-month-old cousin's head in with a brick, or possibly a rock. He then duplicated his cruel and heartless deed on his baby sister, and then again on his neighbor's kid. There are a couple of alarming facts about this case. Firstly, some neighbors were aware that Sada was responsible for the first two deaths, but they considered it a family matter and did not report it, meaning that his third victim could have been saved if they had spoken up earlier. Perhaps the most horrifying fact is that Sada was just eight years old when he committed these crimes it's in 2006. eight years old, bro? Listen, bro. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's Hey, listen. I think that's the end of the video, man. You can get it from anybody. We have seen, it don't matter what age, it don't matter what ethnicity, whatever skin, bro, anybody can dish it out. We got to be vigilant and careful out here, guys. This is, this is crazy, <clears throat> you know, and this is real crazy. And, you know, this, this is also an eye opener for, for a lot of people that don't know this type of stuff because, <clears throat> you know, you got to be, you got to be on 10 toes, man. You gotta know your surroundings. Don't don't let your guard down, you know, and and just be wise in disguise.